Ah, oh, fuckers, welcome to fucking Bloodborne. Uh, we, we're joined with a special guest, first time on the channel, uh, twitch.tv forward slash underscore nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a rollicking good start. <laughs> Yeah, it we're is here. Just spark, spark <laughs> underscore man. We're here with Jeff or just, Bezos. Or just, yes. Can I just what? get it as wrong as possible? Yes. <laughs> we're here with uh with Caitlyn Jenner's former left testicle. Mm -hmm. We fished it out of the whatever garbage they put <laughs> transgender testicles into. Is, is this a compliment? I. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of I'm trying to th I'm trying to think of the one thing you're not, and I think a right former athlete's left testicle <laughs> is the farthest. The farthest thing from from one of my greatest online friends. That would be true, yeah. So we are here in Bloodborne. How's it going? Uh, it's going great. So a little bit of history with Bloodborne on this channel. This is the third time we've tried to record it. Um, I get lost constantly. Yeah. Um, I streamed it once and got help through chat, but um, I haven't played it since then, and I haven't streamed for like at least maybe nine months, if not more. Yeah, it has so, been a while. I have forgotten I, everything. I, on the other hand, some history with me playing Bloodborne. I played. I've been playing this game since before it even came out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have played so much Bloodborne. I would declare myself a resident of Yarnum. Yeah, it's <laughs> because I have so much experience playing this game. I know the ins and outs of everything. So, some history with Spark playing Bloodborne. He never stopped. Yeah, just played at this game endlessly since uh, it came out. Yep, it's just, I mean, pretty much his his chair has been built into a toilet. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, just to, all right, let's see here. Now, what, I forget. I eat, sleep, drink, Bloodborne, anyway. I think I just want to go, I'm going to go with Violent Past. Okay, so you're going Strength Build? My, I have you, realized you want... in the Soulsborne games, the harder you hit something, the faster it dies and the less that you get hit. That is indeed true. So I have become. And confirm. Yeah, I have become very, uh, let's say, um, strength forward yeah. in my life. How do you wear face details? That's right. Um, we'll just grab one similar face that looks kind of cute. That one works. Now, uh, I will be helping you throughout uh, moments of this game. I imagine it's uh, you're just gonna leave the the summoning thing on all the time, and I'll just join in whenever I can. <laughs> Yes, I think so. I don't fully know how summoning works in this game. So the way it works is that you get an item. It's okay. just a bell. It's called the beckoning bell. And literally, you just ring that, and it'll put you into a matchmaking state. Okay. Someone who rings the, uh, what's it called? Um, I forget the, the name of it. The bell? The small resonant bell. Okay. Anyone who rings that will uh, automatically be put into a matchmaking to help a person who has uh, rang the beckoning bell. And I will automatically connect to your game. Got it. However, one extra thing is that uh, we're probably we're going to need to put in a network password in order to ensure uh, we, we connect. Yes. Yes. That way you don't just get random people. We don't want random people. Random people are butts. <laughs> Actually, surprisingly, a lot of the people in the Bloodborne community are very helpful. Okay. Um, you know those people who in Dark Souls will create like low-level bills that are designed to just kill you in one hit? Yes, absolutely. People in this game do the opposite. They create low-level builds that are designed to help people kill bosses in, like, one hit. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Which is helpful, but also, um, kind of not helpful. Because it's just yeah. like, if you want to learn how well, to... Well, yeah, because yeah. then you're never going to learn how to play the game, yeah. Yeah. Bit of a if problem. You, if people just... Whoops. I... I'm sorry. I just... And, I need uh, to get my eyebrow color right. Right, yeah, of course. That's right. And from what, you, well, from what you have told me, you would like to be helped through this game, yes. not carried through this game. Yes. So the glorious thing about doing a show is that um, I, I, I have to be entertaining. Well, and yeah, as much as I believe in our skills at commentary, I do believe yeah. that being a Let's Play channel and having plays in the name of my channel definitely designates a certain amount of gameplay. That should be present within. <laughs> yeah, pro yeah, I think a little bit, yeah. Yes, otherwise, I mean, I could just title this, you know, Bloodborne the Walking Simulator. <laughs> Which, alright, side note real quick. Do I, you want to be taken on a nice, calm tour <laughs> through Yarnum? Uh, I mean, maybe after we've taken care of the demon infestation or whatever it's happening. They're not demons, they're Vampires. Beasts. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the evil from fucking... 
There's no vampires yet. What do you think this is? Code vein? Da 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 Anyway. Uh, but this is a... Oh, I forgot to even look at what time we started this. I'm going to go with it's been three minutes. <laughs> so, a uh, little bit of background I didn't give you uh, is that uh, we can record for up to an hour. I like to keep okay. my episodes around 30 to 40. Right, yeah. 20 to 40. I like to make them last some amount of time. <laughs> There's no structure here. Our marketing point is is pretty much like if we had a catchphrase or like a, a slogan it's like are you sick of let's play channels that try too hard want one that doesn't try at all watch our shit the commentary is the only thing you try on and i guess the gameplay and if you want some like low quality streams and even lower quality commentary check out my twitch channel anyway oh yeah <laughs> wait Wait. I don't feel like I'm supposed to agree so with that. Self-deprecating humor, yeah. I love these. All right, like, at first, like, I get it. This is supposed to be a creepy moment where it's like, ah, these little creatures are calling me. Uh, stop. But it's like, they're kind of yeah. adorable. In, like, Honestly, a weird, yeah. macabre way. Especially, like, there's some who run the shopkeep. Yeah, I think you... that's that's why they're fine with me. is because I know that yeah. most of them are fine. Yeah, you know that they're nice, but your first time playing, you don't know. Yeah, the first but time more playing. I love it's... is every time you unlock badges, uh, more of them get added to the uh, the merchant bath in the uh, in the dream, and uh -oh. they're all just waving at you, and like some of them are clapping their hands, and they're just Yay. so excited to see you. That's so wonderful. I'm gonna go punch a werewolf until it either kills me or I win. Sounds good. That's pretty much a synopsis of every uh, Soulsborne <laughs> game. I'm gonna go punch this thing until it kills me or I win. Exactly. See, now you're getting it. Yeah. Just I like definitely... the good old days of Demon Souls. Right? I'm so excited to get to play that for the first time. Oh, I know. I I'm... haven't played... I, I've been wanting to replay Demon Souls. I did not get very far in the original game, but uh, I never oh, wanted to hook to up my... I never hooked up my old PS3, so I um... never got around to actually playing, like, going through it. So, yeah. Ow. You weren't supposed to hit me, you fool. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks. I'm very dead. Don't dodge in. That was no, my do problem. No, do dodge in. Well, so my problem is I got hit, and then and as I got hit, I'm like, now I'm gonna dodge in because there's definitely no chance of a uh, follow-up yeah. attack. That never happens. This game See, is very is, forgiving. You, the thing is, you dodge in if you got recoverable health, and then you smack a bitch. And then you run like a bitch. Oh, and then see. you run away. You know what? No, honestly, let's let's just cover my ass. I'm not a bad gamer. I was just speed running yeah. to this cutscene. Honestly, you, most most of the time you're expected to just die to that werewolf. I have I know a I way to kill the it. werewolf I have easily. Killed it. I have actually genuinely killed it. Like, fought did you with kill it, it just by just by karate chopping it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've genuinely is, fought it and killed it before. There is a way to kill it instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've done that too. I've I've killed it at least twice. Hello, doll. Every time lady. I start a new character in Bloodborne, and I have started many new characters in Bloodborne, <laughs> uh, I always just like, okay, let's see if I can kill this werewolf. Uh, this is Blunderboose. Give. So, uh, what exactly sort of build are you going for? Are you going for strength, uh, strength of course, but are you going for a secondary at all? I one don't of the things I love know. in Bloodborne. One of the things I love about Bloodborne is that it gives you a lot more freedom to create any build you want than Souls, I would say. Yeah. Because of the fact that there's less stats to put points into, so, um, you can sort of allocate those points to exactly what you want, right? Whereas Dark Souls, you're kind of just, like, all over the place. Let's put it this way. I want to get the Kirkhammer, and then I want to okay. use the Kirkhammer. Got it. Not the Greatsword? Uh, maybe the great sword. I have not. I've never gotten that far as far as the I great sword. Right, fuck. The great sword might be my favorite. My it's definitely one of my top three weapons in this game. All right. I'm just trying to remember my buttons quick before we get whoops too much further. All right. Also, there are only two great swords in this entire game, and they are both amazing. Okay, right. that is good. There are very there are very few weapons I would say I don't like in this game. Uh, weirdly enough, the Kirkhammer is one of them, but that's just more because I don't like its playstyle. Yeah. I really but like the sword. The Kirkham yeah. Well, the the greatsword has the same sword. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> You've enlightened me to swordage. The Kirkhammer, and it's called uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade. 
Um, uh. Ludwig's Holy Blade, and the, it's literally, do you want to cut things with big weapon or smash things with big weapon? That's the difference. Kick, smash. <laughs> smash. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, right now I'm going with the X and I'm gonna go X this yeah. fucking damn in a question. Fuck you, fuck you. Oh, fuck, I had a table. Definitely a good, a good choice. Ow. He has um, attempted to hurt me. So I would say that you should probably stick with, uh, you're going with strength, but you, I think you should also decide, do you want to go with blood tinge or arcane? Uh, I don't know what either of those things mean. Blood tinge affects, uh, weapons that are, you that use blood, which are mainly firearms. Okay. There are there are some main weapons that do use blood tinge as well, which are blood related weapons. But we'll get to those eventually. Um, may, for for now, blood tinge just know it, it affects the damage of your firearms. Okay. And arcane is magic. Ooh, I usually don't do either of those. I don't usually the, spec it either. The, there are some weapons that do. Uh, s I, I, actually, in fact, every weapon to some degree has the scaling in in arcane. That's the little okay. star. Yeah. Um. But some weapons definitely greatly benefit from it more. A uh, However, I would say that um, arcane weapons definitely more fall under the skill based rather than the strength based. Ah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And you're also <laughs> using the blunderbuss, which is uh, primarily not a damage focused gun. Yeah, it's more about getting them sweet, sweet parries. He's a good parry gun. I'm into the parry gun. <laughs> I just like it when my enemy goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, the uh, the pistols are faster at firing, but they're a single shot, whereas the, the shotguns are spread. Yeah. Which is, uh, they makes blunder it a lot the boost. easier. They, blund they bust all the blunders. I actually had a toy blunder bust when I was a kid that was like once a fucking stage prop, and it was one of my favorite things. Yeah, it's all pretty right. neat. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, to be honest, I, I, never, I, I personally never really cared for blunderbusses until I played Bloodborne. Really? And I was just like, fucking, I need a blunderbuss. I always thought they were so silly that I loved them. Yeah. So I actually have a picture of me uh, holding real life replicas of the saw cleaver and the hunter blunderbuss. Oh, damn. Which I got from, uh, I didn't get to keep them. Right. Uh, I went to PlayStation Experience in 2014. It was the first PlayStation Experience they ever did. Alright. And at PlayStation Experience, they had a demo Wait. for for Bloodborne. Do you not rest at mm -hmm. the lanterns? You do not. You do oh. not rest at lanterns. You only go back to the dream. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. This, is, this, is, this ain't Dark Souls. <laughs> I know. I forget these things, okay? Yeah. Evils. It's all good. Yeah. Anyway, um... Yes. So, You're at the thing. At the uh, on the outside of the booth for Bloodborne, they had a display that just had, was like a brick wall. It said Bloodborne, and there was a replica, uh, a real replica. They were heavy. They were made of wood and metal. Damn. Um, of the saw cleaver and the blunderbuss, which are which are the essentially the mascot weapons of this game. Right. And every single person was walking past saying, "Hey, can we take a picture holding these weapons?" And they said, "Yes, you can, but you have to beat the demo first. You can take a picture with the weapons, but if you want to hold them, you have to beat the demo. Got it. So I stood in line and waited to play through the demo, and I looked around at everyone around me, and clearly no one else here had ever played a Souls game before. Right. <laughs> People were dying on, like, the first basic, like, villagers. <laughs> is, there um, a, is there a point to, to talking to the doors uh, other than to get berated of, by dicks? Some of them, yes. Okay. Some of them do have important characters. Right. Not all of them. All right. Que question. Yeah. Did you talk to the dude in the window? Uh, I have before, yes. Okay. But not He's your currently. Friend. Is there a dude in the window that I should have talked to by now? Uh, do you know the first lantern after you climb the, land the ladder? Yes. There's a there dude in that a, window, huh? There's a dude in that window, yes. You all want right. to talk to him. He is your friend. That will happen, eventually, after these villagers are dealt with. Bitches. Get stitches. Your ass is grass, and I have a giant axe, which is phenomenal at cutting things. I kind of want to go fight Big Boy. He's just oh, right big, a big, big Axe Boy? Big Boy. Hell yeah. You want to go... A Would you like him to ask you a question? I'd like to axe his face with my axe. Ha ha puns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have an axe. Ha ha. Ha ha. My ha -ha. axe is... is in inadequate in most situations, with the exception of fighting. It's a good thing all there is is combat. 
<laughs> Damn it. So a uh, certain mutual friend of ours and I, uh, have been met, uh, they may have threatened me to, uh, to a fight in a, uh, in VR chat. Oh? And I'm like, well, I'm gonna be recording with Spark. Uh, so, you know, if we're done by then, sure. And then they had said something or other. I'm like, oh, I actually, what I said is, when we're done, I will gladly kick your ass. Um, and then they had said something else, and then I'm just like, well, you were busy drawing, I, I was studying the blade. And they just hit you with, studying doesn't matter if you're not even going to show up for the fight. And she's like, damn it. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. They, oh. ha they, ha they got you there. I literally moved my arm to my mouse for half a second. And the cat just laid down on my wrist. <gasps> I, uh, uh, it's okay. You, you don't need your arm. <laughs> yeah, no. Bloodborne. no. You don't need both arms. <laughs> you don't need both hands. It's not like this is a game of skill and determination. <laughs> How many times I, do I have to I, talk to him? Listen, Jesus. Here, you just, just talk to him until you exhaust his dialogue. Uh, just talk to him, but the thing is okay. that as you play he, through the game, now. come back to him later as you uh, play through the game, and he okay. will uh, he'll have more things to say. Gotcha. It is kind of weird killing a bunch of people and then going back to a lantern and then not having yeah. to kill all the people again. <laughs> like, I haven't Question, done anything yet. Do you want me to guide you through this, which includes uh, telling you things that will happen, but without, I'm not going to spoil anything, but like, if there are things like, oh, if you do this, you might be able to do this later. Uh, if you want, I've never been too okay. concerned with, oh god, fucking Jesus, with, uh, with beating the video game, or with, um, okay. with, with beating all the quest lines and stuff, I've only ever been right. concerned with beating the final boss, like, that is the, that is uh, okay. my end goal. God, it sounds good. Because uh, there are... I, oh, fuck, I can tell Jesus. You, I, I can tell you right now, if you want to, uh, I can tell you exactly which NPCs and which windows to talk to. Yeah. That way you don't have to go around to all of them. Yeah, stuff that... Just yeah. to save time. Hell yeah, I'm into saving time. Yeah. Time because and essentially money. If, essentially, that dude's quest line is done once he gives you an item. I won't say what the item is, but I will say that once he gives you a thing... You are done with his quest line. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, I'm gonna go try and fight Big Boy again. Um, All right, sounds good. I went Did at you him die? Two, I went at him two-handed, which was a mistake. Ah. Because I needed to be able to blunder his bus. <laughs> and I had not, not done that, that. Not with that attitude. <laughs> yeah, crack. Ease hole. Ease hole. You need oxygen to breathe. I would also like to point out this will be interesting because I can't see things from your perspective, so I yes. just have to go off of what you tell me. Yeah, this is, it is, yeah, because share play is fucky sometimes. Yeah, also um, I'm playing, so, Yeah, uh, that too. That too. Soon we'll be playing together. Fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't shoot as fast as I thought I was going to. What? I see what you were saying. Nope, that didn't stagger him at all. But I have got the upper hand. It's over, Anakin. It's over, I have hit you a few times with an axe, and you are still moderately alive. <laughs> Why you do this attack to me? Ah, uh, and he has the fucking souls, like, in his body, which is not helpful to me or my- Hey, I killed him. Oh, no, I didn't. He has none health left, but he has grabbed me and has killed me. Oh, ah, goody. Good. I'm so happy that you had- I see you've made a friend. Yes, one health is definitely- is, is the difference between life and death, isn't it? He- he give you a hug. He hugged me greatly, and then I said, <laughs> Oof. Haha, <laughs> get it? Zoomer I am humor? dead now. He hugged right. you, and then you're- and then you were all like, Ouch, I am dead now. <laughs> what- Is- Would you say that- that like the- uh, putting, uh, an apostrophe T at the end of words is Zoomer humor? Or would you say that that's sort of a late-age mm. millennial thing? Uh, I guess Zoomer whom Zoomer, Zoomer humor? humor? Zoomer humor. The yes, Zoomer, Zoomer humor. Hello. Ow, fuck you and your fucking fire stick, you bitch. You ain't got dominion over me. Just a casual stroll through the city of Yarnum. Hello. Man, why are these streets all fucky? They really need to invest in infrastructure. Like, seriously, what is their president even doing? I don't get how- so, like... In this game, like, uh, uh, this town uh, wasn't all- th This town wasn't always shit. 
Because like clearly there's enough Wait, of a society button. that they were able to build this huge city. Uh, uh, I got him. I got him. Ah, ah, hey. I missed it. I fucked it. No. Ah, Paradise. Sorry. I may have pa What? I shot you, but you didn't go into the whoa phase. Maybe I need to stop trying to kill this guy. Yeah, that that guy's a trap. Um, yeah, but I nearly killed you, him. You get nothing for killing him aside from uh, bragging rights. <laughs> So what you're saying is, I get everything for killing him. Yes. Okay, good. That is indeed the I words I am saying away. to you. I Now, it, see, the problem is, I would give up now if I hadn't gotten so close. Hayden. Hayden. <laughs> that's a, that's some weirdly like specific Jewish humor that no one's gonna uh, get. Okay. Because I don't. I feel like no one had the same copy of a certain book that I had. Yes, uh, but when you explain it, we get it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that a hint, maybe? That explaining it should happen? Well, fuck you, convert for- No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, whoa. so during during Passover, uh, there's this book called the Haggadah, and Haggadah is Hebrew for order, and it is just a uh -huh. book that is pretty much your guide through doing a successful Passover Seder, right? It's just right. the order by which you do things. Well, ours that we had in our family had several typos, oh. and uh, one of them is Haid instead of the word had. It's just had with an E. And it is our family's <laughs> favorite shit, and we pronounce it Haid every fucking year. Haid. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. That was, all right, I'm happy. Got we, him. I'm so happy we documented that. I got I got the gun parry, right? Oh, hell and then yeah. I went behind him and did the, 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 the back parry, and then I visceral attacked him again. There were two visceral attacks. Ooh, nice. Well done. Good job, Sakura. Sorry, that is a dead him. bitch. That is one dead bitch. I have to send one message quick. All right, sounds good. Boom, there we go. All right, I'm out of here. Let's go kill... I am so coated in blood now. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. That's, that's the one that's thing. That's one of I love. It's so weird to me that so Dark Souls Three had the same thing. I was in which about they to had, say that I was about to say the same thing. Like Dark Souls Three, like yeah. half does this. Dark Souls Three has a weird blood splatter system where it gets on your skin and some armor pieces, but it's like they didn't fully implement it. And then when and they didn't like, they gave up like halfway through it. Yeah, it definitely but feels like that. But in Bloodborne, because the game is about blood, yeah, you of course get coated in blood. Oh, and I it forgot. Looks good. You, I knew. I knew this guy was here. I just forgot to do anything about him. Oops. He well, didn't hit me. We're good. But, like, that was a silly moment on my part. <laughs> um. It was, like, in my head, I'm like, all right, don't forget to hit, you know, kill the dude who's going to be around the corner. And then I just walk past him. I'm like, neat. <laughs> Forgot the dude. I, well, like, I was well, staring at him the whole dude. time. I just never pressed the attack button for whatever goddamn reason. I am the slayer of men. Just wanted to walk up to be like, excuse me, where's the Jamba Juice? Yeah. Where's the nearest what? restroom? I forgot to go pee before I left. I know about you. There's nothing I can do for there's a wall here, but you will die. <laughs> I have killed him. It was not bloodstone mm. shard. That's an upgrade material, isn't it? That is, yes. That's yeah. the basic. It's essentially the Titanite shard. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna kill some boys. This game is very generous early on. Uh, Ow. With the blood Whoa. stone shards. Whoa! Oh god, I got stuck on some level geography. No! Uh, uh, oh my god, I'm so used to fucking square being heal. Oh yeah, that definitely is something that takes a bit of getting used to. Huh? Oh, also, here's a fun thing. Um, be careful about pushing up on the D-pad. Yes, I do know about that. Yeah. About the the that blood is, that the is bloodies. Much more yeah, that is much more useful when you are a uh, when you have uh, investment in blood tinge and arcane because that Ow. uses the bullets. Yes. God, my fucking fully charged super attack or er, strong attack is fucking dope. Oh yeah, the two-handed spin to win Jeez. is one of the best moves. The swing and you're out of here nonsense. The all three all three of the starting weapons are what? fantastic. That is really nice for different for different reasons. Yes. Uh, I do want to point out one thing. Do you know about the difference in... There's a hidden weapon type in okay. this game that the game doesn't explain to you. Uh, Tell me this thing. I believe there are three kinds. There are blunt weapons, serrated weapons, and righteous weapons. Ooh. And essentially, your weapon type determines the, uh, how much of a boost in damage you Fuck. do to enemies. Gotcha. Uh, 
Uh, blunt weapons, unique thing, which is uh, so funny enough, the axe you're using, despite being a sharp, large object, is an axe, is a blunt weapon. Yay! Uh, and I believe, I'm not, even though I'm a Bloodborne veteran, I'm still not 100% sure on this. Um, I believe blunt weapons increase the amount of health recovered when you have recoverable health. Oh, that's actually really interesting. Yeah, so the axe is really good for... You get hit, fucking hit them back, because you will get that shit back immediately. Um, uh, oh, God. Righteous weapons are a weird <gasps> kind of weapon. They are weapons that are specifically effective against what is referred to as the enemies of the church. Okay. Which is uh, not a lot of enemies, so I would honestly say righteous weapons are not really worth it. Gotcha. But what are worth it are serrated weapons, which Hell. are weapons that are extra effective against beasts. Ow. Oh, okay. Which Any, is basically, a lot of what you fight. Yes. Essentially, anything covered in fur is a beast. Therefore, yes. serrated weapons are very effective. And what they do is that... Um, I don't know if they do more damage, but they make certain enemies... Ow. I, I think they do do more damage, but against beast-type bosses, Ow. they make them stagger. Oh, I've got a dog. Ah, ah, uh. No, dog, where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? I like that, like, most people will just go to mouth sounds after doing that. That's like, what it's, it a, does. it's a hard song not to sing banjo to. Even though banjo is not exactly a singable instrument. It's like when you do Scat Man, and it's just like. Yeah. It's, it's not words, it's just people going. Yeah. That was a lot of good scat right there. I'm a scatoman. Scatoman. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of uh, Hello Live. So the really Fubuki, funny thing, Fubuki specifically. Uh, uh, the funny thing about her is that there's this uh, channel called, I believe it's Hamburger, uh, that um, will take those videos that she does and then make them into the actual song using only oh, yes. her I, audio. I have seen those. Yeah. Yeah, they make me very happy. It's honestly the only reason I want her to keep doing those is so I can keep <laughs> seeing the full version. I'm pretty sure she will because she, I think that she's aware that a lot of people love watching those. Yeah. Because she does a lot of those. Yeah. Ah, uh, man, fucking Twitter's fucking anime girls speaking English is oh hell yeah a phenomenal resource mm -hmm. for seeing cute shit. Bird, these birds it, it, are too fat. They it's must part of be that, bird. that along with the uh, what's it called? Um, I think it's out of context virtual YouTubers. Yeah. Uh, are both the reasons why I got into Hollow Live because specifically they post a lot of uh, Inugami and Fubuki. But okay. as well as the other girls that are part of Hollow There's a lot of girls in Hollow Life. Um, Damn. All right. Yeah, a lot of fun. Weirdly enough, my up. favorite ones are all the animal girls. I don't know why. Oh. The, the rumor I've... come out, does Spark is furry? Apparently. Oh, shit. This guy noticed me a lot sooner than I thought he was going to. I always <gasps> thought I was a scaly. I mean, what? 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 Get ah! out. Oh, it was too late for the visceral attack. <laughs> no, you That's and your it. brick. You boy. Ah, uh, you're at the door. Yes. I have at least reached the door. It's the bricky boy. Did he get you? No. <laughs> I will take that as a no. <laughs> I let him have me. That's the difference. Ah, okay. You, you were being nice to him because he, they wouldn't let him into the door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, I thought How maybe nice he, should, of you. he should experience one one good thing in his life before I inevitably that, come back and murder him. That good thing being murder? Yeah. I mean, yeah. dude, if I could murder one person consequence-free, I'd plead the fifth in order to not self-incriminate, but you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Especially with a large axed weapon. Oh, hell yeah. Large yeah. blunt weapon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the fridge. Come here! Well, I hit that man into some fire, and then he died. Ah, yes, perfect. So, uh, I remember what I was saying earlier. So, um, yeah. the game gives you a lot of, uh, upgrade material early on, but will gradually start to give you a lot less. Yeah. And I think the reason why it does that is because it wants you to experiment with weapons, but at some point, it's just like, no. Pick two weapons and stick with it for the rest of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I so, feel like Dark uh, Souls definitely. is the exact opposite, where it's like, hey, if you yeah. found a cool weapon late game that you want to upgrade, here's all the low-key upgrade materials you're going to need. Like, here yeah. you go. Yeah, because like, I remember a lot of people complain that the... So there's the weapon that you need to fully upgrade a weapon to plus 10 is called a Blood Rock. 
Okay. And uh, there are there was initially only one in the entire game. God damn. And it was in a hidden location that you had to go off the beaten path to go find. Gotcha. Um, the DLC added a second one, which was also off the beaten path in a hidden location. Got it. Um, at some point, they eventually updated the game to being that, okay, oh, you can just buy blood rocks, but they're very expensive. Gotcha. So it seems like the, ori the original intent was choose it's, one they wanted weapon. You to, yeah. They wanted you to dedicate yourself to a specific style. Because the, yeah. the thing about this game is that... People people complain about it how it doesn't have a lot of weapons, but I actually like yeah. them more because yeah. like when, Dar when Dark Souls easier. is yeah when Dark Souls is throwing at you like your fifteenth iron sword, it's just like I'm not gonna need this. Well, yeah, and it's like you know what kind of weapon do you want to use? Do you want to use like a rapier or a, or a short sword or like a great sword or like a long sword or like an yeah. axe or like a mace or like a fucking like it's yeah. there's so many choices that it's like it's it's a very like classic RPG thing where you just your inventory is filled with so much right. of the same weapon. And it's like, it's hard to want to spec in one because then it's like, oh, yeah. now I found the thing that's cooler. Like, yep. this one just fundamentally looks cooler and now I want to use that. I would essentially describe the weapons in Bloodborne to be like characters in a fighting game. Ow. Where there may not be a lot of them, but they Five. are each, each have their own unique things about them. Oh, I'd rather you because, not hit me with that axe. <laughs> because like I said, um, the Kirkhammer and Ludwig's uh, Holy Blade are near identical in terms of their movesets, but yeah. I like the Holy Blade more because it's more fun, in my opinion. Ugh. Hammer might be more fun. It's literally that the short, the long sword yeah. version of of it is identical, but it's when you put them into the hammer or the, or the great sword that turns it into a completely different weapon. Yeah, it definitely seems like this game has something for everyone, but it's not because it has everything. It's because yeah. it covers every area. Right. And it does it. It's it's the difference between doing one thing well over many different things. Exactly. And I like that a lot more. Ow. That being said, the game does have one issue because of the fact that there's not a large quantity of weapons. Yeah. Is that like, if let's say like, oh, I want to play through the entire game with a scythe. Yeah. There is there is one scythe in the game, and you don't get it until near the end of the game. Right. So you, you pretty much it's, I want to play New Game Plus with a scythe at that yep. point. Yep. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you go back to, like, Dark Souls 1, it's just like, okay, I want to do, the do a, like, a greatsword build. There's one in the catacombs as soon as yes. you spawn into the game. And it's, you and it's a fucking phenomenal sword, too. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, not if like you're it's good, It's like, you're probably going to die if you go down there, but if you're good enough, you can go down there and get your greatsword. Or if you're bitch enough, I just got it in RAM. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do that, too. I do like that there is a forgiveness window on the um, recovery attacks that, like, you yeah. don't, like... If your enemy is dead, you can still get a swing in and recover some health. Yeah, the, it's it's basically like as long as their corpse hasn't fully hit the ground, you can still swing. As, yeah, in. as long as the rag doll hasn't kicked in. Yeah, pretty much. Seemingly. All right, let's see if I can. You sneak up on this guy and visceral attack him. Is that possible? Nope. Which he guy? is very aware of your Which existence. Guy, brick boy? Yeah, brick boy. Oh no. hell yeah! Get gunned. I've been playing more Hatsune Miku, so it's really, you know, it's changed my timing to a razor's edge. Oh, fuck oh, me in the ass. Oh, timing's been done really well. Yeah, oh, what? I've been playing so many fucking other video games that time doesn't have to do with, but owns my skills for a video game. I've been playing a lot of Ace Combat 7, which has just been honing my, my decision-making skills in high combat situations. What? Unlike Ace Combat, this game has real dogs, not just JPEGs. <laughs> that was, it's still the funniest shit. I know, I love JPEG Dog. I don't care who, the, that dog is the best part of that game. <laughs> and I love that game. Genuinely though, the more I play it, the more it's just like, oh, this is actually just Ace Combat 4, but again. Yeah. Because like, I don't I, remember I, I really a, lot. a lot. Of people... I don't remember a lot about Ace Combat 4, because I was a little, I was a wee babe. A wee babe. But I do remember very distinctly that you are a pilot, uh, that, you know, you kind of become infamous, and there's a certain thing about your plane that, like, everyone, all your enemies see it, and they're like, oh, that's the guy because of the thing. And that's literally happening in Ace Combat 7. It's the same feeling. There's even a lot of the same mission types. Like, it's it's pretty much the same thing, but with graphics. Which, for someone who, do, you know, doesn't have access to Ace Combat 4 anymore, it's very yeah. good for me. Stop barking at me, you little bitch. Oh, Jesus, he shot me! Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh god, I accidentally almost did a jump attack. I'm Man, guessing you're in that little court, yeah, courtyard, like right before the bridge. Yeah, with the doggos and everything. Yeah. Alright. 
I'll just be checking in every now and then and be like, where are you at? Yeah. I think we'll um, call an episode here pretty soon once I get to a good resting point. Hey, six right, blood vials. That's nice. And then we can... Because I, I forgot to even set up like the matchmaking password and all that jazz. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that in between. Yes, Since so you're we'll coming up pretty soon to the uh, the ability to summon people, so... Yes. Good. View notes. Yes. View notes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. There's like two werewolfy dudes here, ain't there? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, there is. Forgot about that. I'm gonna go laugh. Yeah, uh, fuck those werewolves. I hate those werewolves. They, they do be like that, though. I do know a way to get completely around them, but, uh... I probably do it's hard too, to explain, but I just don't care enough. Yeah, well, because like the thing, the, the mm -hmm. thing is, a lot of people say, "Oh man, Bloodborne is too linear." It's just like I kind of isn't. I know enough shortcuts that can skip entire sections. I'd say that I, I, I honestly, always go for like a specific path every time I start a new character. So if I if I can let out some of my personal gripe, because mm -hmm. everyone, uh, the big complaint I hear about my favorite Souls game, I Dark Souls too is that it yeah. is way too linear, and it drives me fucking insane. It's like, bro, you can go to four different locations from the beginning of the game. Yeah. Like, bruh. Yeah, I like, do agree with that. Um, yeah. I don't think that the uh, they're as interesting as like the locations in Dark Souls 1, like, but I do, oh, I do appreciate that it has the freedom. Yes. A lot of people complain. I probably shouldn't have gone this way, but I did. Fuck it. Uh, uh, I'm in the sewer. Ah, I, okay. I took a left. Um, but a lot the of people complain. The sewer's a good idea. A lot of people complain that it's like it's it doesn't have the map uh, congruency, the map like continuity that Dark Souls has, right? That's yeah. like it you well, you, mm. you you go up like you go you're underground in a cave, you go down through an elevator, and then you're in a lava lake with a castle or whatever. And it's like how do these things connect? But like here's here here's my rebuttal, and I think it's a pretty solid argument. It's a video game. Yeah. Like the, the thing is that like. I, I also have that complaint about Dark Souls 2, but the thing is that that is such a minor complaint yeah. that does not ruin the game at all. And it's like, it's... In my mind, it's really... I really enjoy that aspect of it, because it's like, you never know what's going to come next. I love the areas. That's the other big thing, is that... Like, that that example specifically, the Iron Keep is one of my favorite areas. Uh, yes and no for me. Oh, like, I, th I, don't, I, I don't. I personally don't enjoy fighting the uh, Alon Knights in Iron Keep. Yes. All right. I, I like don't... A, I like Alon. I don't like the Alon Knights. I love Sir Alon. I love the Alon Knights. They're actually genuinely one of my favorite enemies, and I think they made them even harder. So I don't. Did you ever play the original PlayStation Three version? Yes, I did. Okay. That's uh, the first time I played. Yeah. So they changed. Those are the enemies that changed the most. Because yeah, their I remember. Behavior changed. Fuck, do uh, I actually have they, to go that? Where do I, where do I go? The sewer is not the right way to go. All right, it is not. Well, then where, because it just loops back around. Is that the whole point? So, is that I loop so back around? So going down into, going down into the, uh, the sewer is only good for one thing. You get the mascot armor down there. Right. But, all right, so question. Hmm? So I came out of the sewers, and I'm on this ledge where you pick up ten pebbles. Um, okay. And I'm, looking, uh, I'm right. overlooking that bonfire. Uh, what do I do? Do, do I you go back? The bridge, with the, two, the bridge with the two werewolves? Yes. You gotta cross that bridge. You, all right, but that's where the the cleric beast is, right? Yes. Do I have to kill the cleric now, beast before I can summon you? Or uh, the thing is that um, you won't be able to summon me until you get any insight. The earliest point you can get uh, insight is seeing the cleric beast. You don't have to it. kill him; you have to see him. All right, so we're actually we're gonna call it here then for all this right, episode, good. Uh, just because like for you know that way I'll get an easier title next time around, which is you know probably something along the lines of like anime girl gets destroyed by giant furry. Sounds good. It sounds clickbaity, uh, but it's the truth. It is true, yeah. Yeah. Indeed. That's if I don't one-shot him, which, uh, we'll see. I mean, shit, yeah. First if, try. If I, if, if I don't one-shot him, uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm so broken. Uh, that's my fake laugh. You like it? <laughs> oh, uh, but before we end the episode, let's say Game Grumps eight times. Because the more times we game say Grumps. Game Grumps, the more that the audio will pick up, like the YouTube algorithm will pick up that we said Game Grumps, and then it'll link uh, Game Grumps videos to our channel, Game Grumps. Ah, perfect. Yes, we've done this before in Dark Souls Game Grumps, and uh, so Game, game Grumps, Grumps. Game Grumps. Yeah, so Game Grumps, right? Yes. Game Grumps, Game Grumps. <laughs> so, Game Grumps, huh? <laughs> yeah, they, they are the gamest of Grumps. All right, that's enough of this dumb bit. We're Does that work? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>